Okay, my name is Fernando. Uh, I work with Technic Color, and today we're demoing uh, MPAP, which is uh, software technology to analyze biometric data to, to gauge our emotional responses to content, like movies, uh, ads, uh, trailers. And cool. And so tell me about the hardware on your hand. So this one in particular is a sensor made by Affectiva. This sensor in particular measures the skin conductance, so uh, essentially the sweat levels on my palm. And from that, uh, the, the first interesting thing you can do is measure my emotional reactions. So if you look at the screen here, that blue curve at the bottom is the sweat level on my palm changing over time as I was watching a, a trailer for a movie. So some of the technology we're demoing today is how to process this data to compute what we call an emotional profile. So that bar chart on the right there, that's a, a, a mark of a significant reactions I had while watching this trailer. So you see, when somebody puts together a trailer like that, that's a very complicated uh, combination of stimuli. Like you have music, you have flashing images, you have fast cutting. And what we're doing is basically teasing out what I'm responding to in that complicated mesh of, of stimuli. And of course, the, this has a ton of applications and we're looking at building this towards giving feedback to the people who had cut that trailer and telling them, you know, if you're targeting your movie to a specific demographic, you know, uh, males uh, between uh, 18 and 35, here's how they'll respond. And here's what will work, what will not work in that particular trailer. So, within entertainment still, I mean, you can imagine a whole bunch of people are showing uh, devices like this, and we are sensor agnostic, you know, we're hardware agnostic. We're trying to focus on the software. But you can imagine that as people will start having this in their wristwatches, you know, in their glasses, and the ability to collect this kind of data, you know, we want to be helping people process the data for day-to-day -day applications. Like, say, imagine that when you're, you're watching a movie on Netflix, right, and you, you give a five-star rating. And Netflix uses that to recommend you more content. But imagine instead of that five-star rating, which is very, very coarse, you know, it's some, it, it throws a lot about what you like and what you didn't like about the experience of watching a movie. Imagine that just your wristwatch would tell Netflix, you know, here's what's working in the movie, here's what that person reacts to. And Netflix all of a sudden can say, okay, now, because you responded to this, you will also respond to these other movies that, that I have in my catalog. Now, that's one thing, but you can imagine Imagine as well that there are all sorts of applications on wearables that rely on parsing data from sensors. And of course, you have all the people working on fitness. You can imagine uh, lifestyle applications that, that depend on, say, recognizing what you're doing from data in your wristwatch. You know, we're working towards building tools that will help people build these kinds of applications.